Tonight, a CBS world premiere movie. A good cop set up to take a fall. I think you were going to split the money with him. You never carry a badger, then. I can promise you that. And marked for murder. It was supposed to be you, Wolf. I'm going to take you down, you duck. Jack Scalia is Wolf. It's different since you came back. You've changed. Trying to build a new life. I want to try and put things right, Pop. If he can survive his old one. You're a dead man. Wolf. Next. Wolf. Sponsored by Rich, Delicious, Mountain Grown Folgers Crystals. Get it on the air. Office is down at this location. We need an ambulance. Whoa! Okay. The brains all over my hands. They came in shooting, Walt. They knew. How did they know? Where the hell's that ambulance? Easy, Teddy. something you were supposed to be in that room with me the whole time and all of a sudden at the last minute you bail out and switch with teddy because peppy showed up captain he knows me the minute he sees me it would have blown the whole deal hey you set it up clown it was your deal but peppy was your boy maybe you gave him the word huh all right call it you switch with teddy wolf yeah and I told you why. He had Pepe cold. You had him cold and he got away. Now, you're going to tell me that was a coincidence? You know what I think? I think you were going to split the money with him. Huh? Hey, Pepe. Hey, Pepe. Hey, Pepe. Hey, Pepe. If you're dirty, you're going to fall for this one, Wolf. You can make buck on it. <laughs> Well, the 
preponderance of evidence clearly implicates Sergeant Wolf, I cannot recommend criminal prosecution at this time. Do you mean to tell me you doubt that he's guilty? Not for a moment, Mr. Mayor. But as you know, juries are at best unpredictable. However, you've got more than enough evidence to fire him. One officer dead, another crippled horribly for life, and the man that's responsible gets fired? You never carry a badger down, I can promise you that. You have sufficient cause to dismiss him on CUBO. Conduct on becoming an officer. Your Honor, a swift, sure stroke. Exorcise the cancer from the department. Let the public know you won't tolerate a bad apple hiding behind a badge. Wolf was one of the most decorated officers in the department. What makes a good cop go bad? Nothing made him. He chose it. Do it. dreaming about it for two years, Connie. Oh. You look terrific. Yeah. And you look thin. And look at your hair. You cut it all off. You still got a butt like a quarterback. I need your recipe. Two years a call now and then. Two years, Tony. Too long. I'm good. I'm real good. How are you? My dad. He's not very good. I look in on him every couple of weeks, but you know his pride. He doesn't want any help. You know he lost the boat. Yeah, you should have said something. I would have come back. Hey, hey, you had plenty of chances to come back when he asked you to. I'm gonna make it easy for you, Tony. It's never been easy between me and him. I know he's got a tab here. Let me give you something. Ah, uh, no, count. no. Don't worry about it. Business is great. I'll write down his address. But first, I'm gonna get you something to eat. We got a lot of catching up to do. Connie. Yeah? I'll come back. And then we'll talk. Okay. I gotta see you. Like a 
Pizza, no problem. How's Angeline? Uh, a teenager. Don't get me started. I mean, the clothes, the hair, and what she calls music you wouldn't believe. And the phone, it's ours. I mean, I can't get a takeout order nature-wise. You sound just like your mother. Yeah, I hear things coming out of my mouth I swore I'd never say. She's going to be so glad to see you. Postcards meant a lot. You're still her hero, you know. I'll come back. I'll see you tomorrow. She'll be on pins and needles. You got wheels? The city's full of cabs. Ah, no, no. Here, take the truck. It's not a hot rod, but it still runs. Uh, you got somewhere to stay? Yeah. Good to have you home, Tony. How long are you staying? Till I'm gone. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. Hey, Pop Anthony. Where do I start? Look, I made some mistakes and I did some things I know that you don't understand. Maybe things I don't understand. But I want to try and put things right, Pop. I haven't been much of a son. And for that, I'm sorry. You turned your back on your family, on your brother. You threw away my name. Now you want to be my son, huh? When poor Nicky got killed, I begged you on my knees to come back and help me. But no, you had your own life, that's what you told me. Now where's your life, Anthony? Where's my life? Gone. Like smoke in the wind. You made some mistakes. Three letters I get. Three. Once. Once. A birthday card. You sick? No. So, uh, what are you doing, just passing through or what? I hope not, Pop. That guy downstairs says that you owe him back rent. So what do you say on Monday we find you someplace a little more your style, Pop? I like it here. This is my place. I don't need the money. What, a son can't pay his father back in debt? Remember the time you loaned me a hundred bucks so I could get my motorcycle fixed? Why don't you go down to the wharf, visit your friends? Everybody down there misses you, Bob. 
I'll come back on Monday, okay? Wait. What if I say no? Then what? You're going to drag me out of here kicking and screaming? You got to start someplace, Pop. for her. Huh? Why don't you just take a knife and stab me in the heart? Ah, she's ours. What are you talking about? I bought her back from the finance company. We're going to get a seaworthy again. Me and you. Together. How much you pay to get her back? Damn near everything I had saved. You say, Pop, Ma. No, I'm not crazy, Pop. I'm going to hook up electric. Water reservoir. Head. Shower. We're going to live aboard. Me and you. Huh? Where you going? Anthony, this is going to change things. Let the dead rest. Now take me back. No, damn it. Now this is important to me. outfit never fit her very well. Yeah, well, neither did I. Tony, an opportunity's come up that I think might interest you. A friend of mine needs to find somebody, somebody who doesn't want to be found. I don't think so, Melissa. Look, my life has changed. Just hear me out. A man's life is at stake. He's willing to pay whatever you want. Melissa, it's not about the money. I'm fishing now. I like it. If my friend is arrested, his career is over. He doesn't need to be convicted of anything. The suspicion alone is going to ruin him. You know how that feels, Tony. Please, I don't like to ask for favors, but I need one. Will you talk to him? All right. Who do I call? I'll meet you tomorrow noon at the top of the mark. I described you so he'll introduce himself. What made you so sure I'd say yes? Because I know you.
wife into this world, but stay the hell away from her. Wife? I don't know what the hell you're talking I wouldn't hire you to take out my laundry, Wolf. And you know all about dirty laundry, don't you? Hey, I never got a chance to thank you for screwing up my life. Oh, no, you did that all by yourself, Wolf. I'm only sorry I couldn't send you to the joint. You did your best to railroad me. You never listened to a word I said. You never gave me the, the chance. evidence, clearly. What evidence? Sure. Philip's testimony? That bastard set me up to be killed. That's what it was about. Tell your story somewhere else, Wolf. I've heard it before. Phillips made lieutenant right after he testified against me. It was a payoff. Get out of my way. You pull Phillips' jacket. Take a look at his record. Then you tell me he deserved a promotion. You got the wrong man, Counselor. Your star witness set up the whole scam and you helped him pull it off. Proud of yourself, sucker? Station send you overseas. Are you kidding? Who's gonna cover the big flower show at the Cow Palace? Thank you. What kind of mood's the boss in? Well, he came back a little grumpy from an early lunch meeting, but seeing you will cheer him up. Wanna bet? Hi, Anne. Hi. Well. I, I don't know what your day's been like, but mine just got a lot better. My day's been interesting. How about a cappuccino? I love one. Yeah. You had your meeting? Sure did. Mad at me? Can't get a better phone than this in North Beach. You're mad. I'm furious, but I'll get over it. Just give me six months a year. Did you really think I'd hire him? Your client, our friend, is going to be charged with murder if that girl's not found. Now it's been two days, Dylan, and you're no closer. I'm well aware the clock is ticking, but I'm not about to hire a dirty cop. I'm never going to believe that he was guilty. I know him. You knew him. Ten years ago when you were a high school kid with a crush on your older sister's husband. I was special prosecutor on the Wolf case. I know Anthony Wolf a hell of a lot better than you ever did. We've had this fight too many times before. We're not going to resolve it now. That's right. His guilt or innocence aside, we're talking about Brad's life. You need help, Dylan. Tony's perfect for the job. He was one of the best detectives on the force. Now, that's beyond argument. He can find her, Dylan, and he'll keep his mouth shut. I appreciate your wanting to help. Tony is the best chance he's got, and you know it. Now, are your personal feelings so strong that you're willing to gamble with Brad's life? Melissa. 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 Mr. Elliot, the files on the Wolf case you wanted from the police department just got here. Thank you. Anybody aboard? Silencio! The hell do you want? I'd like to talk to you. We said it all. Maybe not. Privately? What's the matter, Mr. Big Shot with the fancy car? You can't talk to me, huh? This ain't a man got any good news for you, Anthony. You got color TV in there? Yeah. Go Ben. Would you mind not smoking in the car? Yeah.
Melissa thought she was doing the right thing. She was wrong. Yeah, well, maybe. I never thought you were anything but guilty, Wolf. I'm not convinced I was wrong. You came all the way down here to tell me that? I pulled Phillips' file. His promotion does look like a payoff, and that bothers me. Second thoughts don't do squat for me now, Counselor. You were so hot to make your bones on my bones, you didn't even see through the smoke. I made my recommendations based on the evidence, and don't you ever... You didn't look too damn close, did you? It was easier for you to tell them what they wanted All to right, hear. that's enough. I'm not about to put you up for a Medal of Valor, but I wouldn't be here if I were as certain of your guilt as I was two years ago. Are you going to do anything about it? My time's valuable. What's yours worth? I'm listening. My client's a public figure. He can't afford any publicity. His wife overdosed on booze and barbiturates. The police would like to make it a murder charge, but the DA owes me a favor. I've got six more days to find his alibi for the night his wife died. His mistress. He's a real boy scout, He's huh? a friend. He's a student at San Francisco State. It's the place to start. He's got great taste. She knows what's going on? He asked her to come forward. Now she's not answering her phone. I do for you, you do for me. I want you to clear my name. I can't make that kind of guarantee. The best efforts of your office, Counselor. And your word. You've got my word. Good. When I bring her in, I want 2475 bucks. I pay my investigator 200 a day. I'm not an investigator. You want a private dick, the phone book's full of them. Agreed. But you come up with nothing, you get nothing. I can't believe you're gonna work for the guy that got you fired. You gotta be out of your mind. Won't cost me anything but a little time. Maybe he'll get my name clear. He ain't gonna do nothing. The lawyer's a liar, spelt with six letters. What if he does get your name clear? Then what are you gonna do, put the badge back on her? Huh? After what they did to you? Pick up about dark, huh, Bob? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ed, remember that time I lent you the $20 to uh, take Connie out to that fancy restaurant? Yeah, sure, I remember, Pop. Ah, look at that. Hey, I'm keeping track of this. I'm writing everything down. Yeah, all right. Hey, Pop. Yeah. You never believed what they said about me, huh? I mean, you knew I was innocent, huh? You gotta ask me that. Jessica Travis? I'm Jessica Travis. Well, then I must have the wrong name. Do you know this girl? <sighs> well, she's not me, but <laughs> you already guessed that. We roomed together a couple semesters back. Jackie Davis. When she moved out, she took my stereo system and most of my clothes with her. Well, do you have any idea where she might have gone? If I did, I'd get my stuff back. 
Thank you very much for your help. I don't forget my girls, mister. Elizabeth was one of my favorites. Broke my heart when she left. I don't know who told you her name was Bonnie. It was Elizabeth. She has the nose on your face. Did you leave a forwarding name? No. Thank you. Mi chiamo Lupo, Salvatore Lupo. Hi, I'm Melissa Shaw. Is Tony here? Sure. I know that name from someplace. Tony used to be married to my sister Renee. Uh, you I like better already. Listen, Tony's going to be here in a little while. Come on upstairs. We get something to eat. Please, just tell Tony that I step by. Well, what's the matter? You don't like Italian food? Come on, man, job. Brava, eccoci qua. <laughs> this is my home. <laughs> what? You know, Anthony had to be crazy. Marrying your sister when he could have had you. Sal, I was only 15. So we could have waited a year. <laughs> <laughs> you. Hi, Tony. Hi, Melissa. Been behaving yourself, Pop. Oh, he's been a perfect gentleman. Well, I got here just in time. <laughs> Tony, I just wanted to come by to explain about the other day. I gotta go walk the dog. It was a lovely evening, Sal, and dinner was delicious. It was my pleasure. We're gonna do it again soon. Okay. Good job. That's about it. There you go. You know, you really sandbagged me, Melissa. And I feel rotten about it. I'm sorry, Tony. Your heart was in the right place. So how long you and Dylan been married? 18 months. We met when Dylan was trying a case in Fresno and I was covering it for a local television station. Is it good for you? I've never been happier. Well then, I guess the secret's marrying the right person, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jessica, Jackie, Bonnie, Elizabeth, what the hell's going on here, Wolf? A lot of names all tied to the same face. I don't know what it means. But it's safe to assume she's not some little college girl your client is helping to put through school. Has he had any luck reaching her? Gets worse. The number he had for her has been disconnected. This is beginning to take on a bad smell. Well, why don't you let me have it? Maybe I can backtrack it. You keeping up your end of the deal, Elliot? Have an address on Phillips. I'm going out to see him. He doesn't answer his telephone either. Stay in touch. Count on. Step over the curb, please, sir. See those two parallel white lines over there at the intersection? That's called a crosswalk. Yeah, next time I'll use it. Why don't you cut me some slack this one time, huh? Do I know you? I don't think so. Let me see a driver's license, sir. This is D. 
Tony Wolf. But they run you out of town. I came back. Well, that was a mistake. Surprised you and Sal haven't killed each other by now. Honey, it's not that bad. We fight a little. A little? He called twice this week asking if he could sleep in the kitchen. You guys got to start talking to each other. We talk. You fight. You're like two dogs circling each other with your back hair up. You better do something, Tony, before he does. I'm not going to put him in some damn rest home, okay? You think I want that for Sal? No. Why don't you call Italian Welfare? Tell them how it is. They'll find him someplace nice. Uh, his own room, hot meals, laundry. Like a boarding house, you know? Honey, I'm handling it. Agabish? Okay. I'll say no more. Good. Okay. You're not handling it. The opening of this prestigious gallery here on Fillmore Street represents yet another move ahead in the redevelopment of a once depressed part. Hey, she was in here looking for you. I'm Melissa she Shaw. She found me. KNRW. Thank you, Melissa. When we return, we'll take a closer look what? at San Francisco's what? concern for the homeless. Stay with us. Look at this. Some girls take the trash out. Angeline brings it in. It's probably a nice Catholic boy. Uh-huh. Come on. Uh, he's a little bit shy. How bad? This is Domino. This is my mom and Tony. Hi. How you doing? How's it going? Good. Uh, you know, Domino's gonna take me homecoming. He's got a car. We'll have to talk about it. Mom. I gotta get back to the shop. Call me, Angie. Nice meeting you. Isn't he outrageous, Tony? You know, uh, he works in a muffler shop and the guy's gonna make him a partner after he graduates. A career man, I'm impressed. You got homework? Mom, you have to let me go. No car dates till you're 16. We agreed. Yeah, but this is the biggest dance of the year. We'll talk about it later. Oh, yeah, you mean you'll yell about it later. Ange! Tony, talk to her. I'm almost 16 years old, and she's still treating me like some little kid. Connie, why don't... Don't deal me into this one, Angel. Homework. And stay off the phone till it's done. Please. You know, maybe we could find her and your dad a place together. Somewhere nice, like Arizona. Mike Phillips? Yeah? I'm Dylan Elliott. I was special prosecutor on the Wolf case. All right. I didn't even recognize you. Nice to see you again. Nice rig. You going fishing? Yeah. I'm gonna go up to Shasta for a week. Get a few trout. What brings you out this way? I'll do a little house cleaning. I'm closing out old files. There are a couple of things on the wolf case I'd like to ask you about. All right. Fire away. Excuse me. In your testimony, you said you felt that Wolf had tipped this peppy character off about the raid and then switched places with Davis to take himself out of danger. Yeah. I set up to buy. Peppy wasn't part of it. Wolf tipped him off. They were going to split the buy money after the deal went down. Didn't Peppy figure in some other case you and Wolf worked on? Wolf was the arresting officer. And there was a discrepancy about how much cocaine was seized in the raid and how much was checked into evidence. Wolf testified that he suspected your involvement, that he confronted you about it. Yeah, well, he was lying. To cover his own tracks. He had something working on the side himself. You know, actually, I never had any personal contact with Peppy. I was background all the way. I mean, Wolf... Wolf was the guy that bailed out of that room at the last minute and left me in there to get killed, wasn't he? How much does this run you? 15, 20 grand? 600 a month. Look, Mr. Elliott, if you don't have anything else, I'd kind of like to get going before the traffic gets too bad. Sure. Well, thanks for your help. Mr. Elliott? Yeah? What's this really about? 
Too early to tell. Drive safely. The phone company said number is disconnected Wednesday morning. No forwarding number. The billing was in the name of Cynthia Benjamin. They don't show reconnect in that name. Yeah, I bet they don't. I appreciate this, Lou. Oh, glad to do it. Hey, when did you start playing P.I.? <laughs> this is my first and last time, believe me. <laughs> Tony, be careful. The word's out that you're back in town. There's a lot of guys who give their shield to catch you in the wrong place at the right time. Not everyone. You still got some friends in the force? They could hold their get-togethers in a phone booth. Look, Lou. I appreciate you being there for me. What happened? I treated our friendship pretty shabby. Yeah. But you got hosed pretty good, so you're allowed. What they did to you... Hey, uh... How's Teddy? Better, last I heard. He's in some research program, San Francisco Medical Center. They're doing some amazing things with brain injuries. You seen him? I once. It was tough. What happened to him wasn't your fault. He got what was meant for me. We both know that. And all the guilt in the world's not going to change anything. The video screen is divided into squares called keys. Each key is assigned a letter or a commonly used word. Now, when Ted focuses on a particular key, his visual cortex emits brain waves that are transmitted to the computer, which then translates them into words on the monitor and through the speech synthesizer. You mean he can talk? Well, absolutely. Now, he's still learning the system, and he tires easily, so don't stay too long. Ted, these gentlemen would like to talk to you. Now, not too long. Hi, Tony. It's... about... Time. Damn, Teddy. Teddy, I don't know what you've been told or what you believe. But I swear to God, it wasn't me. I was supposed to be in that room, not you. I think Philip set the whole thing up to get me killed. Me, too. He was acting weird. They're here. Coming out. One, two, there's number three. They got the bag. There's a fourth guy. It's Pepe, Tony. Here. You said three guys. I don't know. The deal was three guys. You sure it's Pepe? Think I can forget that dirt bag? That was me. If he sees me, this thing is history. We gotta make a switch. Sure, that's not time. He's not gonna recognize you. You wanna bet your life on it? Davis, get in here. Davis! Come here. Right. You just play your cool, huh? You let Phillips do the talking. Tell me this is crazy. Let's build this. Shut up! Everything goes down the way we planned it, huh? Understand? You just play a cool, huh? You'll be okay. Let's do it. Teddy. Get over here. All right, then. Come on. Just stay here and you'll be cool. Get that out of your ear. All right. All right.
好感人，好感人。They came in shooting, Walt. They knew. How did they know? Who the hell's that ambulance? Hey, my daddy. Easy. Testimony is suspect under the best of circumstances. Wolf, the man was blown to pieces. He can't expect a jury. What's it gonna take, Dylan? Philip signed confession. Now you heard Teddy. You think he was lying? Hell no. But we're talking about his credibility as a witness. You always gotta have an angle. You always gotta have an out. That... Now I want Phillips as badly as you do. You think you're the only person that got burned? But I want him enough to do it right. I am not your enemy. Do you understand that? Last time around, you were playing for the other team. That's hard for me to forget. We'll nail Phillips. It won't happen easy, and it won't happen fast. Do it your way. This time. I was played like a bass fiddle. Tony was set up, and I dropped the hammer. There was a time when I would have defended him instead of siding with the brass. Somewhere along the line, things change. I changed. When did that happen, Dylan? I wish I knew. I looked at him and I saw every cop that ever tried to stop me, tried to knock me around when I was picketing, marching, trying to stop that war. So how impartial could I have been? You have a very large. I told you so, coming. What are you going to do? I can't make it up to him, but I sure as hell can try to make it right. Yes. Benjamin, my name is Tony Wolf. I'd like to talk to you about Supervisor Christensen. Is Benjamin? Well, Mr. Christensen's lawyer, Dylan Elliott, thinks you do. Get lost. I'm calling security. Benjamin, my name is Tony Wolf. What shall I call you? Jessica, Jackie, Bonnie, Elizabeth. What's the name du jour? You're mad. Not yet. Irritated, maybe. Look, I don't know what your game is, and it's no concern of mine. 
But your friend Christensen is in trouble, and you may be his ticket out. Look, I told you, I don't know anybody named Christensen. You've obviously confused me with somebody else. Do you have a roommate, Jessica? I traced the phone number that Christensen had for his mistress to your apartment after you had it disconnected. Look, his lawyer just wants to talk to you. You continue to annoy me. I'm going to call a policeman. You stay away from me, you freak. Living's gonna kill me. Oh, that Melissa's a good woman. I know it in my bones. Nothing like that snob sister hers all the time with her nose in the air. I told you not to marry her. You didn't listen. You never listened. I guess you thought marrying Rich would make you some kind of a big shot, eh? I mean, changing your name, that, that wasn't enough. You told me if I joined the police department, I wasn't your son anymore. So I didn't need your name. Fishing wasn't good enough for you, I Put the plug in the jug, Pop. The vino's starting to go to your mouth. You just watch the way you talk to me. Don't think that I can't handle What is that? The hell? How many damn times do I have to tell you to turn that burner off, huh? Oh, Pop, I had to refill that reservoir again this morning. Can't you even turn the water off when you finish shaving? Hey, Pop. Come on, Pop. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I can't live what are here you doing? no more. What are you doing? Come here, Pop. Come on. Last shimmy shot! Where are you going to go, Pop? Some pop. Here we go. Pop, we talked about this. I'm not bringing you here to die. It's just for a little while. Can we find some place? Come on. It's Irish. But she speaks Italian. Yeah. The people at the Italian welfare said so, am I right? Come on. You chose this place from all the other names on the list. Remember? On the album. Come on, Pop. This could be your room, Salvatore. Isn't it lovely? Small. No TV. We have television in the recreation room. Your window overlooks the city. You'll get a nice breeze in the afternoons. No hot plate. We don't allow cooking in the rooms. It's very nice, Mrs. O'Brien. No smoking indoors, Salvatore. No, but... Um... He loves it. Thank you. Excuse me.
What about Senator Hall and his wife? Be handling a divorce? Not if I can gracefully avoid it. Melissa and I are close to both of them. It promises to get messy in a very big way. I told them you're spending too much time in Sacramento. See you at the club later. Need a fourth for bridge. I'll have to pass. Maybe next time. Counselor. I hear you bought your client some time with the DA. He should have been charged by now. If the supervisor was some Joe Blow, you'd write off his wife's death as an accidental overdose. You don't have enough evidence to make a murder charge stick, and the DA knows it. We're working on it. The supervisor tries to cut your budget, and you pull out all the stops? Well, don't carve a notch in your gun just yet, Captain. My client's innocent. Aren't they all? I got a memo across my desk that said you uh, had the files pulled on the Wolf case. Something I should know about? If I turn anything, you'll be the first to know. There's going to be a hole to throw money into. I must be crazy. This is the least of your problems, believe me. Mrs. O'Brien called me. Sal ran off. It's not even dark yet. Let's show up. Tony, he took his suitcase. Oh, my bad, Jim. Carney, this is on your head. I never should have listened to you. What? He'd have been gone long before this if he'd stayed here. I should have put him in that damn place. It was your idea. Paul. Oh, you want to blame me? Okay, fine. I'll say no more. But you're the one that... He won't get far. He doesn't have any money. You want me to come with you? I find him, I'm going to strangle him. All over this damn city looking for you, Papa. Mrs. O'Brien is frantic. All I want out of you is bust me. I'm going down to Monterey to my no, cousin no, no, no. The only yes. place you're going is back to that boarding house, Papa. You are true telling me what to do. I ain't some little bambino you got to look after all the time. I was doing fine Come until on, you showed Pop, up. Come on, living in a flop house with junkies and bucket throw hookers. Tricking yourself blind? You be careful the way you talk to me. You got no right to talk you're to me. You're my father, damn it. Uh-huh, now you remember. I was also your father when you turned your back on me when you went off to become oh, daughter. The big policeman fishing wasn't good enough for you. I told you. You told, told me. me. That's all you ever did was tell me. Be more like Nikki. Why can't you listen to your brother? Why don't you be more like Nikki? God, Pop, you think I left because I wanted to? You drove me out. I was never anything but the little brother, the kid, always on the outside watching you and Nikki. I was a stranger. I left so I could feel like a man. I told Nicky before he went to the war you'd never come back if I begged you on my knees. And you know what Nicky said? Nicky's dead! I'm alive. I'm the only son you got, Papa. And you're breaking my back. I was crazy to come back here. But I had to try. I wanted to be your son. I can't be your father. Maybe you can't be mine. Period's always hard, but he'll settle down. Old people are like children. You have to love them no matter what. But Salvatore must accept the fact that his life has changed, that things are different now. It's important that my boys understand... Don't treat him like a child, Mrs. O'Brien. 
He's a man and he deserves respect. I meant no disrespect, Mr. Wolf. I'm Mr. Wolf, but my father, Salvatore. Please call him Mr. Lupo. Look, I know he's tough and he's hard to get along with, but that's who he is. I don't want him to change. This is your house and he'll live by your rules, but he is not some old man that needs to be taken care of. He'll never be one of your boys, and if that's a condition for his remaining here, then we'll have to make some other plans. Well, let's try it for a while longer, shall we? If so, Mr. Lupo makes an effort to adapt. I see no reason why he can't be happy here with us. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Good day, Mr. Wolf. going in his car. Now she acts like it's the first time she's hearing it. You want a sandwich? I don't want to put you out, Connie. Fifteen years old, I'm telling you. Pastrami okay? Love it. Mustard? Yeah, terrific. Tomatoes? I, I love tomatoes. Hot or cold? Hot. If it's not too much trouble, Connie. This is the car, Mama. What are my friends going to say to me when you drive me like some little kid? Domino's never going to speak to me again. That is not a tragedy, believe me. You are not going with Mr. Teenage Don Juan in his car. Well, then ruin my life. Make a fool out of me in front of everybody. Tony, will you please talk to her? I'm nearly 16 years old. I need my freedom. Just make her understand that. Angeline, this conversation is over. Now get to bed. You don't want to go? Don't go. Don't you walk away from me. You told me to go to bed. So go to bed. You want a beer? Uh, actually, I'd like a diet. Uh, a little less head on the next one, huh, Connie? Oh, I'm sorry. 
See what she does to me. She's a good kid, Connie. Put her some slack this one time. Let her go. I mean, she's only 15 years old. Come on, what's going to happen? We were 15 when we were going together. Corners. Say good night, Domino. You got lipstick all over you. Come on, honey. Thanks. You know, it wasn't that bad uh, when the car pulled up. Tony ducked in the back seat so no one could see him. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Glad to do it, Angel. Well, I owe you one. <laughs> Thanks for buying me the dress, Mama. I felt beautiful. <laughs> you are beautiful. Good night, baby. Antonio. Buonanotte, Angeline. It's so hard. She's too little to be growing up so fast. You want some coffee? I need some caffeine to steady my nerves. Nice what you did. It meant a lot. I'll tell you something, Tony. You've changed. I'll tell you the truth. I didn't like you much when you were a cop. You had an attitude, all tough guy and no heart. But it's different since you came back. You're like you used to be. What you're trying to do with your dad? Fixing up the old boat. It's really nice. You want to stay tonight? Here? No, up on the roof. You could, you could stay. You want me to? If you want to. Maybe it's not such a hard idea. Maybe not. You want to? You want me to? Oh, Tony. Drink your coffee. Isn't that terrific? Hmm? I mean, look at the backlighting on your hair. These new cameras are amazing. Automatic everything. Charles K., chairman of the board and CEO of Kensatron Data Systems, wife and three kids. Dr. Hilton Wong, major political heavyweight in Chinatown. He's got a wife and four children. I like your look in this one. What's the wardrobe? Artist? Poet, maybe? I think I made a mistake here. I got these out of order. Um, this guy's E. Dudmore House, and, uh... No. This is E. Dudmore House, and this guy's got to be Clayton Poole. Clayton Poole. Likes a school teacher look. What's the bottom line here, Wolf? You talked to Christensen's lawyer, Dylan Elliott, and the DA. 
tell him that Christensen was with you the whole night that his wife OD'd. That takes the pressure off the supervisor. No. Jessica, strictly off the record, if you alibi him, you're out of it. No. Then Elliot subpoenas you, put you on the witness stand, and all this becomes public record. Now, how do you think that these fine, upstanding citizens are going to feel when they find out that their mistress is a hooker? Cooperation, Miss Travis. We'll be in touch if we have any more questions. Smile, Robin. Just save the taxpayers a lot of money. Don't gloat quite yet. She's hardly what I call an unimpeachable witness. If I take Christensen to trial, I could cut her to pieces in front of the jury. The mistresses don't have a hell of a lot of credibility. She's got more than one boyfriend. Force my hand. Things will get very ugly for some very important people. I direct your attention to name number four on the hit parade. You gotta be kidding. The case never had any legs anyway. You still sailing on Sunday? See you then. I gotta know, Wolf. Why 2475? Why not even 2500? I got an estimate on the materials to redo the deck of my boat. Twenty-four hundred seventy-five. Seemed fair. To you, maybe. You got the job done. That's what counts. Right. You got more out of this than money, didn't you? They took more than my badge when they fired me. My life was the work. I'm still good at it. If we're still married to Renee, we'd be brothers in law. If I was still married to Renee, I'd be wearing a straight jacket that buttons up the back. <laughs> yeah. I was still in uniform when we met. I was working the student riots at San Francisco State. She stuck a flower in the barrel of my shotgun, and I married her a month later. You know, she was ready to turn her back on her family. Trading the mansion in Hillsborough for a third floor walk up. That lasted about seven minutes. Being married to a cop wasn't quite as exciting as she thought it would be. She wanted to go home and offered to take me with her. I had a pass. You missed your shot at the big time. Maybe. But it would have cost me more than I was willing to give. Hey. I stopped by Mrs. O'Brien's. She said you ran off again. Well, what is that place? Alcatraz? A man can't even go to church for Madonna de Loom. Well, you can't keep doing this. Hmm. Sal, you're driving Tony crazy. All right, then let him live over there. You listen, you and Tony. Something going on? You're such a dirty old oh, man. Man. We're friends, that's it. That ain't enough, Connie. We're friends gonna keep each other warm when the nights get cold, huh? Now, Connie... No offense, but you're not getting any younger. Now, Anthony needs a woman, and you need a man. I got to Grazie. I need a matchmaker. I'll go and see Mrs. Giambalvo. Come on, come to Mass with me. I got to pick up a friend, but I'll see you in church, okay? You promise? Of course. Hey, listen, Angeline's probably worried. You better get going, huh? That's so all you got to know. He's trying. Connie, him and me. We're too different. That's our problem. Oh. 
You're exactly the same. That's your problem. I was hoping he was with you. He was up at the church. Damn, I had to let him con me. Is he drinking? Not yet. Look, he's got to be here someplace. You see him, you get a hammerlock on him, okay? Yeah. Hey. Ever since he could talk, we've been fighting him and me. That part ain't changed. What does he expect? He comes back after all these years and everything's gonna be fine. I took the band. They're like, what he done never happened. There are some things a man can't forget. We're doing all right, Nicky. Then the bad luck. You got killed and then I lost the boat. And then that don't give him no right to treat me like some helpless old man. Put me in that damn house with that mean old lady. He wants to fix up the sea wolf. Did I tell you? It's crazy plots. The boat is a wreck. If you were to see it now, Nicky, it would break your heart. He wants me to live with him on board. It was a disaster. He's trying, Nick. He's trying. But I just can't stop being mad at him. I can't forgive him. We gotta forgive each other. But how? How are we gonna stop being so <laughs> mad at each other all the time? Okay. Yeah, I, I came to see Nikki. That's some kind of a crime. No. Oh. I just got worried. What are we gonna do, Tom? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. And things straight, everything mixed up in my head. Will you take me out, out to see where I can think? Will you tell me? Will you? Sure, Mom. Huh? Sure, I thought it would be nice. Bye, I'm the Easy, easy.
Kept up my end of the deal, Dylan. And I expect you to do the same. What's your next move? I'm uh, bumping the Captain Barnett. He knows I pulled the files, and he is curious. I don't want to turn up the heat because something put on the stove. Hey, word will get out that you're sniffing around. Phillips may wrap it on us. Maybe. But he's got partners in this. They may silence him before he can talk. Well, that's a chance I'm willing to take. I'm not losing him now. He gets back into town tomorrow. We put the screws to him well, while we still well, can. Strong arm's not my stuff. Yeah, but it's mine. And I'm good at it. What is this going to get you? Satisfaction. I don't do barometers. And an assault charge. You're going to ruin your chances of finding out how deep this thing goes. You're going to jam yourself up, Wolf. Afraid I might damage my reputation? Odd man. You should have stayed gone, Tony. How'd you find me? Some things don't change. We're gonna talk. Now. Like hell. You know you ought to walk out of here while you still can. Get off that stool I'll knock you off. You must be crazy coming in here like this. Back there. Where it's private. I paid Ted Davis a call, and he told me what went on inside that room. Did he? The man can't even talk, Tony. You reading minds these days? You moved him into position, and then hit the floor the second they kicked that door in. They looked right at you and then turned their guns on Teddy. You didn't toss them the damn flash money until after they shot him. And you didn't shoot until they were running out. You set the whole thing up. You knew they were coming and shooting you, dirtbag. It was supposed to be you, Wolf. Teddy just got in the way. I'm gonna take you down, Phillips. Oh, hell yes. And who's gonna listen to a dirty cop? <laughs> Now this is for Ted Davis.
to do it your way, I will. The one solid lead we had is a memory. You're lucky you're not in jail. Okay. If we keep turning things over, maybe something will drop out. Phillips is dead. Maybe that's enough. What? What do you mean? Tony, they set you up. They set me up. I didn't come back here to get even. I came back here to get on with my life. And you showed up. You got things all stirred up again. That anger started to eat me alive. Until it was outed. I thought you wanted to clear your name. The people I care about know I'm innocent. Great. I come all the way out here to make you a proposition. Now I think I'm wasting my breath. There's cheap. Something's come up and use your help on. I was going to offer to keep working for you if you agreed to work for me. I told you, I'm not an investigator. Why, Tony? You loved it on the street. You know it. It's what you do. Look, I don't need a leg man or someone to peek through keyholes. I got a guy that does that. What I need is a man who can work quietly behind the scenes in very, very special, delicate, confidential matters. A man I can trust. I might be able to help you out every now and then. When the fishing's slack. You got a case or a client I don't like, I pass. Agreed. And I don't want you to use my name. I'll never testify for you in court. Don't ever include me in your end of it. That's not what I do. Agreed. And I don't know what I'll charge until I know what I need. I get off cheaper buying you a new boat. Yeah, well, I want this boat. You cover my expenses while I work. Front bumper, radiator, headlights, bodywork for a 61 Chevy? It belongs to a friend. I banged it up chasing that guy who iced Phillips. Forget it. You are on your own time then. I only pay when you work for me. That's a nice job. Well, I thought it was worth a shot. We have a deal? Deal. Good. My office, Monday morning, 10 o'clock sharp. No, 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 no. I'm out fishing for the next couple of days. But I'll give you a call when I get back. Nice try. Thought it was worth a shot. I'll see you around. Yeah, I'll be in touch. On the next wolf. I feel like there's a hole in my chest. I think I deserve at least goodbye. I suppose she's in some kind of trouble. She took some jewelry. Have you heard from Tony yet? Should have checked in with me hours ago. Move and I'll blow your head off. If you want to get out of this, the lodge, you've got to do it my way. Hi, this is Pat Sajak. Hope you join us tonight. Bo Bridges will be here along with country singing superstar Conway Twitty from Dallas, Cherie J. Wilson, and we'll have the mayor of Houston, Mayor Kathy Whitmire, tonight. Only four days to go until the CBS premiere preview. Join our stars and learn the first winning number of the CBS Kmart Get Ready giveaway Sunday night on CBS. Now stay tuned for your local news.